29 long hours by plane, and another three hours by jeep will bring you to the village of Kalavai, an unassuming village in Tamil Nadu, India. If you don't look closely, you might miss it. In fact, it's invisible to most people. The people of this village are of the Erla caste. They're untouchables. So when it comes to social status, they're at the bottom rung of the ladder in India. In all aspects of life, the untouchables are outcasts from the rest of society. In terms of employment, the caste of the people in Kalavai dictates that they are rat and snake catchers by trade. You can imagine their economic future is not very bright. My girls got an up-close look at this profession. Yep, we just let them pet the rats. Without some kind of intervention, some kind of training, or new opportunity, this is the only career path in front of the people in Kalavai. And that's not the only problem. Six months ago, the people of Kalavai were homeless, without clean water, without electricity, without options for employment. In other words, they were living without hope. Nothing breaks the human spirit like a lack of hope. But a hope invasion is breaking into Kalavai. It started five years ago when Pastor Sam, a pastor GCC is trained, moved into town and began to share the good news of Jesus. His church has exploded in growth with over 375 men and women deciding to follow Jesus, now gathering in seven different locations. Although the spiritual growth in the region has been vibrant, the growing physical needs of the community has been calling to both the Church of Calavi and the Church of Granger. The government had provided housing in this county. However, corners were cut and the construction was shoddy at best. From the view of the government and the contractors, hey, these are only Arla people anyway. So many of those homes have literally crumbled to the ground. So when a GCC team arrived six months ago, many of the families in the Calavi colony lived in this. Huts made of thatch and garbage, about eight feet wide and five feet high. Dirt floors, no electricity. Here's what they are living in now after the GCC construction team showed up. What a difference. Due to the collaborative work of the people of GCC and the people of the church in Calavi, the village now has safe, decent housing and electricity and clean, safe drinking water. And let me tell you, this isn't just a handout, it's a hand up. Remember those rats? Well, it's not the only career option anymore. With the help of people from GCC, a team has equipped the people of Calavi with the skills and resources needed to start up two small businesses that have been operating successfully for the past six months. The Agape Two-Wheeler Service Station. What in the world is a two-wheeler service station? Well, think Indian sure. Jiffy Lube. And also, the Agape Water Service Station. What's a water service station? Think Mike's Car Wash, except for motorcycles. Let me tell you, business is brisk, and the families of Calavi see a bright new hope for their children. You know what? Let's just save the rats for the barbecue. While we were there, we dedicated an additional 16 homes that have been built for these previously homeless families. Music was playing, people were laughing, children were dancing, tears of joy were shed. It was a kingdom party. After the closing service, a local high caste Hindu, a Brahmin, was so moved, he approached us with an unbelievable offer. He said, each day on my way to work, I passed by this colony of untouchables two times. Over the last six months, I have seen a transformation. It is unbelievable. It is like a dream. This place has been transformed from a village of sadness to a village of joy. Then he informed us that he owned the land adjacent to the village, and that if we wanted any more property, that he would gladly give it to us free of charge. And guess what? We have big dreams for what's next. You've heard of Monroe Circle Community Center, MC3, We'll get ready for Calavi Colony Community Center, KC3. Sound familiar? Like our community center in South Bend, this will be a place that offers solutions that break the cycle of poverty. This center will offer training and microenterprise and finance and conversational English, meals for the hungry, and it will house a handicraft industry to provide income for the families 
of the community. A hope epidemic has come to Calvary. You can see it on every face. Hope's growing in every heart. The change is unbelievable. Transformed from a village of sadness to a village of joy. It's Jesus' plan for Calvary. It's a little snapshot of Jesus' plan for the whole world. And Jesus' plan for you and me.